up? What up? This your girl Lemme here back with another reading from our channel Luminescent here on YouTube. I will be sharing to Instagram as well. I forgot that for the last two. All right, so this message is for Capricorn energy. This is your relationship house, your seventh house, Cancer energy, Cancer. Um, can uh, the moon child, the mother, the nurturer, you have that capability more than a lot of people think you do because that's how you are in your relationships but to the world you're something else okay, so to the world you're something else and that's literally the definition of the IC and the MC axis the fourth and the ten houses no one really knows from the outside from your shell how nurturing you truly are. They don't know. They can be scared of it. Hence the devil card, right? And it then shows all their shadows. It makes them come alive. Makes them come out. They're creepy, crawly places, right? And they just feel purified and grateful. Or they resent you and make you to be out the bad person. When you probably help them figure out what they were really afraid of. Same thing with Scorpios, which is why you're kind of getting along. But um, people tend to forget with Capricorn energy because they keep manifesting the physical reality with that energy where Scorpio energy is like you can't forget, right? I just dropped it. You just can't forget, okay? So Capricorn is just like the ability to surface it. Hard that I did drop under it's saying Isis. So you're helping someone put something back together, put their divine masculine energy back together. Okay. Ascended Master Mataji and Crim Crimson Cuprite. Relief and repair. See that? Higher will. Help you yeah, higher will at the bottom here. Higher will. Blue star sapphire. Okay, so you could be helping this. You could have helped this Aquarius, or this Aquarius was helping you. No shade to any, you know, known couples with these star signs. I don't, I don't know nothing about nobody's business. I'm just the messenger. Okay, <laughs> JK. Um, warm and nurturing healing energies for restoration and revival and revitalization rise from the earth and flow generously into my body mind and soul now i trust in the unlimited supply of divine blessing for all beings i put my faith in the healing and reorganizing power of love's wisdom mm -hmm. by softening emptying and relaxing I recharge and invigorate my body, mind, and soul. I choose deep peace, rest, and release with unconditional trust in the many good things that shall emerge out of this time of restoration. 333, three, three. that's like the very definition of Capricorn, right? Relief and repair. Y'all do so much work. Y'all put in a lot of hard work. People don't even know what you had to do to get to that place where you not you kicking ass and taking names and then at the same time those that do they appreciate you and they don't want to bother you <laughs> but they know when you show that side that cancer side that relationship side of yourself with them is they feel so much love loving wisdom and we got you here with the moon, nurturing moon, right? Practicality, Capricorn, moon and Capricorn. So you, this could definitely resonate if you have a moon in Capricorn. Um, you would be dealing with someone who has this position or this energy that we have right now with all the things that are going on to help you to be more nurturing to yourself. So we have Mars, Gemini at the bottom. Okay, it's interesting, interesting interesting we got another three here so some magical decision was made out of practicality 
it seems like uh, like a ritual was done or some type of wish was being made. These look like bananas in the picture with the wheat, but um, I do see the bee and then the lotus. So this is definitely like love. And then decision with this chessboard here on this card. And see how she's just flying like. You're going, like you went into this, like you flew your whole chariot. Cancer energy, right? Seven, no, the number seven, tarot. You flew from, you were flying through the air, you go into this little hole, right? So there is some type of standard or conventional, conventionality in this deck, as it puts it, that requires you to fit through here in this size, right? And you feel like you this, and you going through here, that's going to 555, that's going to make you smaller, right? But it's not, it's an illusion. Okay, you have to decide to accept that some things that look like that pride, ego, and maybe you're showing that to this person or vice versa. You're learning from each other that when you have to go through an experience that requires you to morph or change in order to go through or pass through. You have to change, you have to transform temporarily something. And it helps you to move forward in this game of life. The illusion that you have to go from here to here means that you're small. No, it means you're flexible. Virgo Earth, right? It means you are flexible. Gemini the mind is flexible enough to experience life in all shapes and forms, right? So let's look at the resistance that could be taking place. I feel like I need my music right now, right? The vibes, the vibes. The vibes, Capricorn, you know, they gotta be. Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Time, Saturn and Taurus. So this is you trying to control the money, which control getting to the bag, being practical about how you how you remain in integrity when it comes to showing up for other people people that you love because they kind of see you as a knight in shining armor when you really got a lot of business to tend to oh look at you showing up you got bit in this in this deck this is related to archangel uriel where it's showing you like the little monsters under the bed type thing so you can know how dark it get because that's how bright it's about to get it starts with how the action you take one 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 as i hold up the numeral three all right we're matching we're matching okay all right you already know what's to come you know you about to get a whole lot of money right or you're about to get a big amount of something something big financially is coming for you there's about to be a big shift in the financial industry period overall you know the whole market of money is about to be different so resist trying to be everyone's knight in shining armor number one number two when you do choose to show up with this love wisdom choose deep it's like take time to get to your deep peace to rest and release with unconditional trust in the many things that shall emerge out of this time of restoration so i feel like you're about to go on vacation or you're about to take a break or maybe you need one or that's how it feels when you become this person that relationship house is being highlighted here like love feels really good for you especially if you've been putting in the work money feels real good to you especially when you've been putting in the work so 
anybody who's been putting in the work is will start on being an Aquarius when it comes to humanity, being um, using your clairvoyance and being upfront with it, not hiding who you are, being authentic. Blessings, blessings. Don't resist those blessings. And you don't owe anybody anything either. You don't owe anybody anything. If you give, you give out of love. Nobody should have a hold on you just because you gave them something or just because you they gave you something that doesn't mean that it's a relationship I think Leo has this make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others period sis period prove Zebra, let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. And this zebra is in motion in that picture, just so you know. And this is a bird. Um, they fly. He's moving. They're moving. You gotta see the worst. You gotta see the worst of somebody before you chose to do something with them. And you did. So now moving forward, there's nothing but relief and repair. Let's look at this Mars in Gemini. A heated argument cross-questioning someone. A fight over a contract, a regretted letter. Yeah, you saw the worst of somebody. It's like you, you purposely set this person up, I want to say. Or it may feel like spirit, <laughs> the universe, God, goddess has practically set something up too so easy for you that you're not even gonna believe it's real. And the fact that you're afraid of it actually being true or coming to fruition lets you know, again, how safe and protected at all times you truly are. Look at, well, look at all you've been protected from by staying focused on, you know, in the original, watching this grow. So it's time for you to pick. And when you get, and when you pick, go do the things you're meant to do, okay? You put something up, it's time to get right back to it. Work is being done here. Time is with you, okay? There's something, you, yeah, here's that protection. More protection. Happiness. Okay, let me stop. Be fair. Do things balanced when you get this windfall of money. It's going to be a lot. I feel like there's a lot of big check or something. A big abundance. A big, huge abundance is about to just politely just walk into your lap. Or you may be this for somebody else. It's vice versa. Or it could be both. But there's definitely something here that's coming that's going to be probably one of the most healing things you've experienced in life, right? When you find out, you can choose to believe that's what it is or you can choose to believe something else. But just know that Saturn is in Aquarius, your ruler is in Aquarius right now. So I feel like if you choose happiness and joy, because you've seen, you seen below, but behind this, right? You've seen the joy, abundance, and prosperity behind this. Come on now. You have to take a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right, despite any judgment or disapproval from others. I feel like you're on the brink of something new, something life-changing. You're giving up something. And a lot of people is going to be like, what? You want to stop doing this to go do that? And it's like, yeah, that's what, what's, what's going to make my relationships happier, which makes me happier because we're nurturing each other. The relationships I have with things in my life, food, water, friends, you know, spirituality, movies, you know, um, subjects, the law, like all your relationships with the, you're starting to collectively understand what feels good and what doesn't and making decisions moving forward accordingly and don't be continue to not you know continue to be unafraid every time this shows up because it's enlightenment it's not fear it's enlightenment 
you've awakened to a new level of being. Congratulations on this experience and I hope it finds you well because you're taking a stand, baby. Nothing stronger than, you know, will. All right, that's your message. Um, so I definitely have gone on a little bit more than usual for Capricorn, but this is your Capricorn message, all right? Be sure to leave a like, share, subscribe below. Thank you so much. Break the through glass cages inside of me. Surfing and swimming in a never-ending sea. Finding missing puzzles to keep. Crack the cracker for everyone to sleep. Illusions walking and living like zombies. Allowing people to play with my mind like chess piece. Stole the key to my psyche. Now for years I just want to hide me. Deflowered and free.